Hi everyone, Cheryl again. I'm really excited to be creating a series of little videos that will help you save heaps of time when you're creating Moodle classrooms. And what I'm talking about is creating a template. Now there's no such thing in Moodle per se, but it's like anything where you create the bare bones of something and then reuse it again and again, just making changes for each of the individual classrooms. So what I've got here is a classroom I've created in Moodle for Community Services and Health at TAFE, and you can see we're using the theme there for Community Services. And Community Services has a number of different qualifications that we use Moodle for as well as a number of different competencies within those qualifications. So we're starting to grow and starting to get a huge number of classrooms. And so this is one way of just making everything um, easier for the lecturers when they want to create something, making it good for the students because they're used to seeing the same sort of thing. And I've put in some th different things that will save each of the lecturers a lot of time along the way. So let me just go through and show you. So for example here in the uh, left block, we've got um, a HTML block here that's showing some links that are specific for our community services students. And that's great to have those in every classroom. One of the things that you can do is actually put in photos or images into the Moodle to sort of make it your own. So that's one way that lecturers can put their little stamp on it. So I've left some placeholders throughout this course for lecturers to be able to do that. So these other blocks that I'm just quickly showing you are ones that we found to be really useful to have displayed. So the messages block, the participants block, um, one of the things that we use a fair bit in community services and health it has been getting feeds coming in from outside. So for example, Google News, uh, getting feeds coming in from different blogs. So for example, we've had feeds coming in uh, from blogs that talk about psychology or domestic violence or all sorts of things. So it's a great way of tying the theory with you know, the practical of what's actually happening out in the real world. So the other couple of blocks we've got there is just the administration, which of course I'm seeing more of than a student would, but their grades, etc. Um, the calendar, which shows any due dates, as does the upcoming events block. The ability to search forums, whatever activities are included. And just down the bottom is a plain HTML block for you to reference the... Um, any photos that you use. In the main section here, this is typically what our courses look like where we've got forums already set up for a number of different purposes and this links off to the competency details. And this is just a way of making it a bit easier for someone that's not done it before to show them how you can clearly set out what the tasks are. The other thing that is really great is we use groups a lot and we do that because we have um, a number of different lecturers teaching the same competencies that are used by multiple qualifications. So for example, what I've done here is actually set up all the individual groups and I've actually put the lecturers in there already. So this is a spare group I've just put myself in, but you can see I know the lecturers already for next semester, so they've already popped up in there. I've set up enrolment keys. Um, which I'll talk about in another video for groups, but it's a way of saving heaps of time. And the other thing is putting images in. So what you may have noticed there very quickly was just a file structure set up already. You can see here I've got a heap of clip art that I've put into these for lecturers. So that's something that they can include in messages and can be a bit of fun. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, sorry, I got out of there too quickly, was I've also downloaded from Flickr, um, I don't know how many photos, but these are some of the different photographers I found that had really groovy photos that could be used. And so they're all the right sizes just to quickly pop into those blocks on the side for the placeholders. So again, that's a really time consuming task for someone and so having already those things put in there just means that the person that comes along to create a course from here doesn't have to worry about doing any of that. So in the next video I'll show you how to create a new course from this. Okay, see ya!